your stories should be true, but they don't have to be 100% factual. What does that mean? Now, fair warning, this video tip is going to be a little bit longer today, but I promise it's worth it. When I was first introduced to this idea, I was told, Michael, a story has to be true. You can't make up facts. However, you don't have to be 100% factual from the standpoint of the order the story occurred or leaving all the details in. There's a great saying, I don't remember who the author was, I've heard Patricia Fripp say it, that movies are just like life with the boring parts taken out. As speakers, this idea fits perfectly. See, we want to be honest and truthful with our presentations, but if we give all the facts, we're going to lose our audiences. This all came back to me this week when I watched a movie called Bohemian Rhapsody. If you're not familiar with this film, it's about the rock band Queen and specifically their lead singer, Freddie Mercury. I really enjoyed the film. It's terrific. And one of the reasons I liked it so much is because I've been a big fan of Queen for 40 years. I know what you're probably thinking. Mike, did you start listening to them when you were a baby? Yes, that's it, 40 years ago. But that's beside the point. As I was watching the movie, though, there were some little parts of it that bothered me. See, I knew the timeline of every album they've ever created. I also knew when their band had had some pretty serious discord and, and had broken up for a short time. That wasn't portrayed in the movie. There were songs introduced out of sequence as far as the timeline that I knew and even the, the argument that led to the temporary breakup of the band occurred at a different point in the movie than it did in real life. So that, then yesterday I woke up and I completely understood why the writers of the script had written it the way they had. An important element of storytelling that I teach others is that you have to introduce characters and then show them in some type of conflict. You meet a hero in his or her everyday life. They're introduced to a new situation. They have some success, then they meet setback after setback, and it reaches that conclusion where the setbacks are resolved or the obstacles are resolved, they live a new life. Well, if the writers had written the true story of Queen in that order, frankly, it would not have worked. It would have been a boring story because some of the conflict occurred much earlier in their careers after they resolved their differences, they, they were together seven, eight more years until Freddie Mercury's untimely passing. So the writers had to create a script that followed this hero's journey uh, format. And the bottom line is this. Unless you're a super fan like I have been of the band, you wouldn't know those details. This movie is not written for people who are super fans. It's written for the general population. They, if, if you want people to hear your story, you've got to make it appealing. And the bottom line is this, the message of the movie is the dynamic personality that Freddie Mercury was with his successes, his falls, his failures, his flaws, that's all included in here. But the order in which it's told by the movie makers is much more compelling and entertaining and you want to stay all the way to the end. In real life, the story wouldn't have been as compelling toward the latter part because everything was resolved. He had come to grips with his illness and he passed away knowing he had given everything he had. It didn't have quite the dramatic resonance of a Hollywood movie. So what's the point of this? When you've got a story, you want people to listen to it. You may have to take some liberties and change the order of some facts. Again, don't make them up. You might shorten some conversations or some timelines to get to the main points that will keep people interested and watching all the way to the end. As you create your next story, remember this lesson. You have to be truthful. Don't make anything up. But you don't have to be 100% factual. Do this and people will walk away with a memorable experience that will touch them long after they hear you speak. See you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.